Huge shout out to this baddie, Nails by Jade underscore Sky. Thank you so much for your lovely comment. Also, don't forget to watch this video in 4K for the best quality. Thanks for watching. Hey baddies, welcome back or welcome to my channel. So today I'm going to be giving you guys a beginner's guide to everything you need to start doing acrylic nails. I have compiled a list because I am very forgetful. My bitch is blind, so I'm going to have to wear my glasses for this. Okay, so step number one I would say is to create a budget. You need to figure out how much you're willing to spend and how much you're able to spend on products. Um, I think when I first started out, I probably spent around $200, give or take. Maybe like $250, okay? Um, keep in mind, I purchased everything separately instead of all together. So create a budget for yourself. And also think about, do you want to buy quality products which are usually gonna cost more money or do you just wanna get the product and you don't really care if it's super good or, or bad? Those are the first two things that you should keep in mind before you start accumulating items to become a nail tech. So the second thing is considering whether or not you wanna buy a kit or if you wanna purchase everything separately as individual items. There are different brands that sell kits such as um, Young Nails, sells like a starter kit which comes with almost everything that you need. I think it's missing like an e-file but other than that it has everything that you need. And you can also get a kit like on Amazon. I know there are some nail techs who sell kits. Or you can do what I did which is go and pick every item individually. So now let's get into the actual products that you need to do nails. These are the basic items that I'm sure every nail tech has in their arsenal and what you're gonna need to start nails. I feel like this is kind of self-explanatory, but you're gonna need somewhere to work. So be it a table, a, a desk, whatever it is, you need a surface where you can sit and if you're gonna be taking clients, where your clients can sit. You just need somewhere to work. Number two, you need monomer and you need acrylic powder. I do wanna warn you guys that there are two different types of monomer. There is MMA or Mepha Mepha acrylate, sorry, it's kind of hard to say. Monomer, which is MMA, or EMA, which is ethyl methyl acrylate monomer. You want to go for EMA, not MMA. Um, yeah, just make sure you read this disclaimer because MMA is dangerous and we do not want to be using that, okay? But the disclaimer just says, when buying monomer, please pay attention to the labeling and refrain from purchasing MMA monomer. MMA is dangerous for the nails and is not approved by the FDA. You want EMA monomer. I feel like these are the most important components because how are you going to do acrylic nails if you ain't got no acrylic powder? And how are you going to use acrylic powder if you ain't got no monomer? So there are lots of different brands of monomer and acrylic powders to choose from. You can get this stuff on Amazon or you can get it from big brands like Nail House, Young Nails, Mia Secret, Valentino Beauty. Personally, the monomers that I am currently using happen to be from acrylic and Afro -glam, Afro Glam Nails. When it comes to monomer, you're also going to need a dampen dish. Dampen dishes come in many different sizes. This isn't even a dampen dish. This is a shot glass that I turned into a dampen dish. So obviously nobody's taking shots out of this anymore. It is now a dampen dish. I have this tiny one, which is better for beginners because you're not filling it up with a bunch of monomer that you're not gonna end up using. A dampen dish with a lid, I know this one is a little dirty, but focus on the fact that it has a lid, okay? So if you have excess monomer that you didn't use that is still like good for reuse, you can just put the top on and use it to the next day. The second thing that goes with this is acrylic powders. So once again, there's lots of different brands that you can purchase acrylic powder from. You can get it from, like I said, Young Nails, Amazon, Valentino Beauty, Nail House. I do happen to have some Nail House powders. I also have powders from another brand called Luxurious Touch Acrylics. So I have a clear, which you definitely need a staple clear and a white and a nude. Next is an acrylic brush. There are a couple different things to know when it comes to acrylic brushes. You have different sizes and you have different types of hair. The most popular type of brush that I've seen is a Kalinsky brush and you can get those on Amazon or any of those other websites that I mentioned before. The different sizes represent 
how big the hairs on the brush will be. So this is a size 12 brush that I got on Amazon from a company called Beauté Gallery. And this is a size 10 brush that I got from a brand called Panna. So I would say as a beginner, I would definitely go with anywhere from eight to 12, which is the sizes that I have. The smallest brush that I have is a size eight, which is also from Beauté Gallery. And it's slightly smaller than the 10. These are all of the brushes that I have. You can definitely um, get these on Amazon or if you have a nail supply store near you, I'm sure they have acrylic brushes. Moving on, we have acetone and alcohol. Acetone is very important because you can use acetone to soak off acrylic nails. You can use acetone to clean your acrylic brushes. And it's just overall, if you went into a nail salon, I guarantee you they're going to have acetone there. And also alcohol. Alcohol is great for removing dust. It's great for sanitizing and just like cleaning something off. Next, we have uh, nail files, e-files, drill bits, and sanding bands, <laughs> okay? I know it sounds like a lot, so let's go over it. First, nail files. A basic hand file. This hand file is going to be one of your best friends when it comes to doing nails. To get a crispy shape, you're going to want to use a nail file. Um, there are different grits and the higher the grit, the more coarse, the more sharp the nail file is going to be. So this is a 180 grit nail file. 180, 180. And this is like my favorite grit. This is the only grit that I really like to use unless I'm doing something on the natural now. For acrylic and for nail tips, I love a good 180. You can also get 80 grit if you're a beginner or 100 grit if you're a beginner just to kind of get a feel of whether or not you like hand filing. Also, you will need nail buffers, buffers to um, smooth out the surface of the nail to get the shine off of a nail. Next, we have an e-file or an electrical nail file. Um, electrical nail files are really cool and really helpful. They help you get into areas that you wouldn't necessarily be able to get into with this. <laughs> and also they're electrical. Sometimes it might help you go a lot faster because you can do a lot more. You can get the surface of the nail a lot quicker. However, I wouldn't necessarily replace this with this. I like to use them together. Sometimes I only use this depending on what I'm doing. But it is all about preference, but you definitely need one of these. Mine does have a, a cord that I plug into the bottom. I just don't have it plugged in because I'm not using it right now. Along with the e-file, you will get different bits. So the thing that you put inside of the e-file is called a bit. This is my bit tray. And most of these I got with this when I ordered it. I got this on Amazon. Once again, you can definitely get this on Amazon. This is usually not going to come in a kit if you purchase one. You're probably not going to get one and you're going to have to purchase it separately. One of the most important bits that it comes with is this one. I believe it's called the mandrel. This is what it looks like without a sanding band and it's used to hold a sanding band on here. As you can see, you push on the sanding band. My, my sanding bands are purple. They're usually not purple. Here are two sanding bands that I have. These, this one is fine. This one is coarse, so this one is definitely more rough. You wouldn't ever use this on anybody's natural nail. This is what you would use on someone's natural nail. Along with your sand, with your e-file and your bits, you will also need sanding bands for different tasks. Something very important to know is that all of these items are not reusable. So you cannot wash these off and sanitize them and reuse them on another person once you've used them on somebody. You have to throw these away. They are not reusable. After filing, there's lots of dust everywhere. Like lots of it. Like, like lots of it. So you're gonna need something to dust off the nails once you're ready to apply paint or top coat, whatever you're doing, you're gonna wanna be able to dust off those nails. So. This one is really cute. It's shaped like a rose, but you can also get, you know, just a regular dusting brush. And like I said, you just use it to dust off any dust that is left over on the nail. Next is paper towels or dental bibs. When you're working with acrylic, sometimes you're gonna have excess liquid in your brush that you wanna wipe off, or maybe you grab a too big of a bead, too little of a bead, and you need to wipe your brush off. So personally, I like to use dental bibs, which once again, you can get on Amazon. Um, but yeah, so dental bibs are really cool because 
one side absorbs liquid and the other side is basically waterproof so it doesn't necessarily leak through to the other side which i really like because ain't nobody trying to mess up their table so you can use dental bits or you can use regular paper towels but the liquid is probably going to leak through the paper towel and ruin whatever surface you're working on and leak and stuff like that so i definitely prefer prefer okay i definitely prefer dental bibs and also it's pink the next thing on the list is implements implements are any like metal tools that you're going to be using to do nails these are must you definitely need these especially if you're working on a person so here are some implements that I have. They're currently dirty, which is why they're in a Ziploc bag. In here, I have um, regular nail clippers, straight edge nail clippers, a cuticle pusher, uh, cuticle nippers, and tweezers. You're gonna need nail tips. So different clients like different things. We have C-curve tips, we have uh, regular curve tips, we have just the normal everyday tip. I personally love C-curve tips. You'll find that a lot of nail techs love C-curve tips. This is a C-curve nail tip. As you can see, it has a very distinctive curve to it. And I'm just going to show you what the nail tip cutters do. You place it wherever you, let's say your client wants their nails to be this long. You go ahead and you give it a snip and boom, a shorter nail. Along with nail tips, you're going to need something to stick those nail tips on with. I would suggest a nail glue. This is the KDS nail glue. It's very popular amongst nail techs. You can get this on Amazon and you can get a lot for a cheap price, but there are tons of different brands of nail glue. Next, I would say you definitely need a good nail prep. There's two different ways that we use the word prep. The action of actually prepping the nails and then the items that you will use to prep the nails. So when I say prep, I'm talking about the products that you're going to be using to prep the person's nails. You're going to need definitely a good dehydrator, a good primer, and maybe a good protein bond or swipe. So this is the dehydrator, which dehydrates the nail so that it's easier for whatever you're applying to the nail to adhere to the nail bed. This is primer just like if you were doing makeup and you want your makeup to last long you would put primer on your face before you apply makeup same thing with nails you want your nails to last a long time you put primer so that the nails last longer next we come to a good practice hand so whether it is your own hand whether it is a friend's hand your boyfriend's hand your mom's hand or a fake hand you need <laughs> a good practice hand Okay, so this was the first practice hand that I got. It's really cool. It uh, attaches to your table. And this one is more affordable. This one is like $40. It is just a little tricky to work with. One of my first TikToks that ever blew up was about this freaking hand and how it does not like to cooperate with you. Oh my fucking God. What the fuck is your problem? So... It's definitely a little bit of trial and error, but the great thing about this hand is you don't have to ask it, hey, are you busy? Can I borrow your hand real quick? It is it is here to be a hand, right? Right. The second hand that I have is a silicone hand. It looks very similar to the red iguana hand, but it is not. It's definitely a dupe because I'm not, I don't have $80 to spend on a fake hand. This hand was $40 and I got it on AliExpress. Next, um, you need a good, top coat so top coat is what you put on the nails once you're done applying your color uh or whatever you're doing to the nails once you're done and you want that shiny finish you're gonna want to get a good top coat now this is the top coat from mia secret but i have also tried out other top coats from different brands and again it's just preference and right along with the top coat you're going to need an led slash uv light lamp this is what mine looks like it's a little dirty. I've had it for like two years. It has a sensor, so when you put your hand in, it um, it automatically comes on. But you definitely need this just in case you have any gel that you need to cure or whatever the case may be. If you have anything that you need to cure, you're going to need this. Next thing you're going to need is cleaning supplies. Supplies to keep your implements clean. It is important to keep a clean environment. That way you can prevent any infections. You don't want anything bad happening to yourself, to your clients, to whoever you're working on. So... One of the main things is a implement holder. This I got on Amazon. There are different versions of this. Um, there's a glass like tall jar that you can use to clean your implements. 
basically when your implements are dirty you can put them in here put whatever solution you're using to clean in here and it will hold your implements while you're cleaning them it's pretty self-explanatory the next thing you're going to need obviously is this the actual solution to clean your supplies personally i use barbicide i know a lot of nail techs use barbicide um lots of barber shops nail salons and even hospitals use barbicide to clean um the only thing you have to keep in mind is that there are a set of instructions that come with barbicide and they're very important to follow because you have to mix it with water so you want to make sure that you're mixing the correct amounts and all that type of stuff also just having like some clorox wipes or something to wipe your area down and just keep your space clean is important you want a clean space the last thing is to have some motivation and to have trust in yourself that you can do this and that you will do it. there's going to be times when you do something and you're like this ain't it chief no cut the cameras dead ass no i'm just kidding but there are going to be times when you're just like i feel like i'm doing a bad job this is not coming out how i want and you're going to want to quit every nail tech has had a point in time where they were just like maybe i'm not destined to do this i don't know what's going on why the nails look like that have some faith in yourself because you're not the only one i promise you so keep practicing and just stay motivated and you can do it okay period so I do have some honorable mentions because even though this stuff isn't 100% needed for doing nails, it probably will make it easier for you. At least I found that these things have made it easier for me. So the first thing that I have on this list is a desk lamp, a table lamp, just some extra lighting so you could see what is going on in front of you. You could see any little imperfections so you can really get the nails looking good. The next thing is a camera, whether it's on your phone or a professional camera, whatever the case may be, to take pictures for your portfolio. If you wanna put your work out there on Instagram or wherever, you're gonna need pictures. Nobody's gonna wanna go to a nail tech if they can't see what you can do. A few good gel polishes can go a long way. You never know if you're gonna wanna do nail art or if you're like, hey, I do not feel like using my colored acrylic, so I'm going to do a clear layer and then I'm going to paint over it with some gel polish. Get you a few good colors, get you black, white, uh, pink, red, and maybe like the, the rainbow and just rock with that. And then if you need to expand, go ahead and do that. Next is a dust collector. Dust, when it comes to doing nails, be out of pocket, okay? The dust be over here, the dust be over there. There'd be dust on your table, on your clothes, in the air, in your nose, it'd be everywhere, okay? It's problematic. So you want a dust collector to help minimize, min, minimum, min, minimum, minimalize okay yes you want a dust collector to help minimize the dust in the air you want a garbage can with a lid on it this is just so if you throw anything that has monomer on it into the garbage can the garbage can keeps all of the smell inside until you're ready to dispose of it next would be some good nail art brushes just in case anybody asks you hey can you do some lines can you do some abstract art on my nails you have the tools to do so that is pretty much it if i missed anything let me know down in the comments comment what else you think a beginner could really use on their nail journey and I hope this is really helpful for you guys and I look forward to seeing you on your nail journey okay don't forget to like comment and subscribe if you did enjoy this video um, it really helps me out so much and I really appreciate it okay so thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye in the block, a woman that can take your spot, my love.